Hello. I'm going to help you access uh, sites like the Crypto Scriptorium, among others, using the Tor Browser Bundle. First thing you're going to want to do will be to download the Tor Browser Bundle, obviously. Be sure to download that using the torproject.org website. There are other sites that claim to have the Browser Bundle, but oftentimes they will be coupled with rootkits or viruses or Trojan horses that will try to access your account information, uh, get access to Bitcoin wallets, things like that. Uh, you do not want to download one of those. So Once you get the official browser bundle, install the program. It automatically installs onto the desktop. Uh, if you open up that folder, just go to uh, Start Tor Browser, and you will be met with this page that says, Congratulations, your browser is configured correctly. Uh, if you ever open up Tor and you are told anything other than this congratulations uh, message, follow whatever instructions you're being told to do because clearly something is wrong. Uh, generally what is wrong is a update came out or a security hole was discovered and the admins patched that and you just need to download the latest version. Uh, but once you get in here you want to go to this page. The icon will actually look like this. It'll say allow scripts globally. Uh, go to the options button and you want to go to the general tab. Uh, we actually don't need to check anything in general. And when you open up Tor first, this will be unchecked or this will be checked. Make sure it's not checked. Then go to embeddings. Check every single one of these. It says forbid, 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 forbid then you can click OK and now all scripts are forbidden. Uh, the reason we forbid scripts is that uh, JavaScript, uh, Flash Player, all of these things can be used to uh, run scripts and options that will de-anonymize you. Uh, for instance, when the Freedom Hosting website was taken down, uh, Freedom Hosting actually hosted over half of the websites on uh, the Onion network. The FBI took them down uh, with allegations of child pornography, all sorts of terrible things. Doesn't matter what they actually were hosting for the sake of this argument. Uh, once they took the site down, they put every single website back up and on the home page of each website it would give an error message and a script would try to run. If the scripts were enabled on the user's browser, the script would just uh, find out what the user's IP address was, their real IP address, not the one that's being obfuscated by Tor. Uh, then it would return that back to the server. Well, effectively, what that did was de-anonymize each and every user that had scripts enabled. That is very, very dangerous, and uh, you do not want to have that happen. So be sure to disable scripts. And uh, once you go in there, uh, the next thing you're going to want to learn how to do will be to communicate with people using Tor. Uh, my personal favorite mail system is RiseUp. Uh, RiseUp, though, you actually have to apply. They only allow certain people in. Generally, they seem to be fairly permissive, though. Uh, basically, all you have to do is give the account information that you want and tell them why you you want the site or why you want their email. Best course of action is to not mention that you know, if you plan on spamming people or being annoying, don't mention that. Uh, so we're not going to register for a Rise Up account simply because I don't feel like applying. Uh, but SafeMail.net is another site we have that is actually very useful. It's free. You don't have to do anything to access it. So we're just going to quickly register for an account there. And there we go.
and it's loading up. And actually, during one of my previous takes on this uh, video, I actually mistyped the email address and have no idea what I actually signed up under. But uh, once you get in here, what you're going to have to do at this point, uh, actually I'll just show you, is if you click on any of this, nothing happens. You have to sign out of SafeMail, and then go back to the SafeMail homepage. Oh, that was interesting. Go back to the SafeMail homepage. And log back in. Only instead of uh, instead of just logging in this time, you go under the interface tab and select fast. That disables all scripts, uh, which allows you to yes, I'm already logged in. Okay, continue. There we go. And now I can actually access the email. Uh, I can send and receive email, and uh, all without compromising my anonymity. Now, if you start doing emails that do have personal information in them, always encrypt them. Uh, if you're not sure how to do that, uh, look into my previous videos, and you will actually see uh, how to use uh, GPG for USB, which is a uh, public key encryption service. Now, now that we got you into SafeMail, you can actually go and show you some stuff on Reddit. Uh, this is the Onions uh, subreddit. Basically it's just a subreddit dedicated to information about the Tor browser and uh, this sidebar has a lot of helpful uh, links and downloads and sites. For it, and this is a little bit more trustworthy to click on these than if you were to go onto the hidden wiki, which is essentially just, which is essentially all scam services. Uh, but in order to log in to uh, Reddit using Tor, you do have to enable scripts on Reddit and also go under this HTTPS everywhere and check the box that says Reddit. That will allow you to log into Reddit uh, if you want to actually, and I made a mistake, I actually I actually unchecked the Reddit. There we go. It actually logged me back in. So, if you want to actually post or comment onto Reddit, you actually will have to enable scripts even further by opening this and saying temporarily allow on this page and then refreshing the site uh, and then it will have the S with the red circle with the line through it and you go to temporarily allow this page again and refresh the page once more now you can post on to Reddit, uh, you can comment, you can do whatever you want uh, this is slightly risky in regards to your anonymity however uh, being that Reddit is a clearnet website, it is much less risky than if you were to do so on an Onion site. Uh, the reason being that essentially the only reason an Onion site would ever try to de-anonymize you would be to de-anonymize you uh, for malicious purposes. Whereas Reddit is not going to actively be looking for uh, Tor users. Tor users actually are incredibly popular on Reddit. That said, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't trust that on every single website. Reddit seems to be fine with it, but I imagine there are sites that are not safe on the clear net. Uh, 
but that is how you get onto Reddit. That's how you access email. Uh, I would definitely recommend getting familiar with the uh, subreddit onions because that has a lot of information about accessing services through Tor. Uh, you can actually go onto the Crypto Scriptorium. You can't load any of the videos or anything like that because scripts are disabled, but you can get pretty much any information that you need or would want. Uh, hopefully this video has been helpful, and uh, I'll see you all next time.